In this episode of Bridgejet TV, I'm going to be telling you why, as a private jet owner, you really need to listen to your pilot or pilots. Now, this is something that uh, very often isn't done, and we're going to go into this um, uh, in this episode. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to Bridgejet TV before, I encourage you to subscribe. Most of the people that actually watch the channel are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed yet. And also click on the notification bell, because by doing that, every time we publish a new video, you will be notified. And of course, get yourself a copy of The Quantum Economy, my new book, which has been out for a few months now. You can get a copy by clicking on the link below. Lots of information in here about the business of the future and why the private jet is playing an important key and why you need to get a private jet sooner than later to help you build your business. It's a great, great business to win. There's stories in here about a number of business people that have done that. And there's also stories on here of people I've interviewed lately. Also, my articles in that buyer magazine, you can click on the link below to read those and you know have a hunt around here and look at the other videos I've done about private jet ownership and that and the people um, that I've interviewed that own a private jet and use it for business. So why should you be listening to your pilot or your pilots? Now, um, very often enough, you know, Mr. Entrepreneur goes out, spends 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 million on, on a private jet. And there are people coming into the market these days that do go out and spend 70 million on their first jet. Uh, while, you know, 30 years ago, you would work your way up uh, to getting an airplane like that. But because of the way the market is today, you've got, you know, three or four young guys get together in their garage, come up with a really fancy app. And, you know, next minute, a year later, they sell their app to Facebook, which is what happened with the Instagram guys for a billion dollars. And now they've got all this money. They're going to go invest it in real estate, invest it in other companies. But um, usually these guys like traveling. So they'll just say, you know what, we'll spend 70 million on a private jet. So um, you get this happen today. So when you have this individual that's gone out and, and if you are one of these people, you know, they buy their jet and then, of course, they need to hire some people to fly the jet unless they want to fly it themselves. And there are people that do that, too, uh, which is fine. Uh, and we'll talk about those people as well, because that's also a difficult role to have and a difficult role to play. Now, if you're the guy sitting in the back and you've got your two pilots up front, what you need to understand is you hire these people. These people are professionals. They're trained. They've done thousands and thousands of hours of training and you turn up at the airport because you've got to go from A to B for a meeting or to watch a ball game or whatever it may be. And uh, the pilot turns around and says, well, boss, the weather where we're going isn't too good. So uh, what, so you ask, well, what do you mean? Not too good. Oh, it's foggy. Oh, it's thunder, thunderstorms. And you're going into a mountainous area and whatnot. Um, and maybe you've got a couple of the icing system or maybe it's part of the icing, the icing system on the airplanes not working properly or is up for maintenance. Um, so, you know, it, it, it becomes a scenario where, number one, the pilot needs to be very transparent with the boss. And number two, the boss needs to listen to the pilot and uh, ask the question, well, do you think it's safe? Do you think if we go, we'll be able to land on time? Do you think we'll be able to land safely? Do you think we'll be able to make it into the airport? What are the odds? What do you think? And if the pilot says, well, I don't think it's a good idea to go. And if you are the pilot, you know, you need to be honest. I mean, is this going to be risky? I mean, safety is is of paramount importance. Now, I know people buy private jets. The main reason they buy a private jet is to save time. Uh, but safety really is the number one thing that's in the head of the pilot or should be at least. But sometimes the person that the, 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 the owner of the airplane pushes the pilot because they want to get to their destination on time. They want to get there for their meeting. They've got a deal they need to do that's going to net them $100 million. They need to get there whether or non whether they need to get there. But you have to understand that, you know, we can't control mother nature. There's so certain things you can buy in life, certain things you can't buy. And one of them is the weather. So this is really, really important because I've seen so many uh, people crash and die um, because they put the airplane into a situation which they shouldn't. Have done. I mean, I, I talked about a few months ago about the uh, vision jet that took off from Miami uh, going to Kissimmee near Orlando. And uh, there were thunderstorms in the area. Uh, the pilot freaked out, pulled the chute. Um, fortunately, the airplane landed intact in a swamp. All four people got out. No one got hurt. There were no crocodiles around, so they didn't get eaten by crocodiles. But obviously, the airplane got slightly damaged. They had to pull it out of the swamp, take it back to the airport, check it over, make sure everything's okay. Uh, that's going to cost money. It's going to take time. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, they should have never gone. They should have waited a few hours and then gone. So if you are happen to be the pilot owner, uh, where it gets even more difficult, because now you've gone out there, you've done well, you bought yourself your Citation CJ3 or your Honda Jet or your Phenom 300, and you're going to fly from A to B for business. But you're also the pilot. 
So now you're wearing two hats. One hat is the, the hat of the guy in the back that, that needs to go to his business meeting and the other is a pilot hat. Now what often happens in this situation is the entrepreneur overrides the pilot and he's kind of got that hat on and so he thinks yeah we'll go we don't need to de-ice we'll, we'll go and this is what happened uh, beginning of January with his Phenom 300 in Provo in Utah I covered this you can watch the video if you click on the link above um, they wanted to get to this ball game they thought the airplane in the hangar overnight it was heated fine we don't need to de-ice and then took off plane flipped over like this the pilot died the other three people walked away um, one was injured went to hospital had a few operations but survived and the other two in the back walked away with a few scratches so again we're in a situation where the pilot owner was flying and the pilot owner should have you know and this is not easy to do take your entrepreneur hat off and now you're the pilot so be the pilot so let me look at the weather forecast what does the weather report say oh, you know it's a bit cold out it's a bit of precipitation temperature dew point close so you know what I don't see any ice but just for precautionary reasons we're going to de-ice the airplane so de-icing truck comes puts a special fluid on the airplane protects it from um ice forming on the wings and the tail and that and now yes it's going to take you another half an hour to wait for the de-icing rig to be ready to come to you it's going to cost you four and a half thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars depending on where you are and the, and the type of airplane you're operating but you're going to take off and you're going to be safe now yes you're going to get to your meeting an hour and a half late or you're or, or you're going to miss the ball game well, you know, fair enough. I mean, you should have looked at the weather forecast the day before, you know, 12 hours before, eight before going to bed at night, you can check the weather, say this weather doesn't look like it's going to be good enough or the weather's a bit iffy, so we're going to have to de-ice tomorrow morning, so we're going to get to the airport earlier to de-ice so we can take off on time. You know, these are the things you need to be thinking, which a professional airline pilot does because they're paid to do that. But the entrepreneur that has their private jet, they're not paid to fly the jet. They fly the jet because it's their hobby. And, and they combine flying the airplane and, and flying them around and you know their business pays for their hobby uh, and it's great if you can do that and if you've got the money and I know a lot of people that are so-called pilot owners and they fly very safely they do all the training they need to do and whatever and they get along fine because when they get to the airport they put their captain hat on and they leave the, 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 the entrepreneur hat in the back um, and then they put that on once they've landed and parked the airplane so that's really really important you know wear that hat and be in the moment you know you are the pilot that's what you're doing and safety is number one and that's what you need to think about so well if you're a guy sitting in the back and you've got your pilots in the front you need to listen to them and you need to be honest even when you hire the guys you say look i hire you i pay you three hundred thousand dollars a year to keep me safe to fly my airplane and so if you think it's a bit dangerous if you think the weather's not good if you think we can't get in uh, please tell me that's why I pay you um, I don't want you to sort of be a yes man I need you to say no boss we can't do this and that's really really important let your pilot say no boss we can't do this and listen uh, don't fire him or like my friend and you know we just had the um, accident report come out this week of the uh, helicopter crash that happened uh, the Leicester City Football Club uh, stadium a few years ago here in the UK my friend uh, Eric Swaffer a uh, shout out to Eric and, and Isabella our dear friends that, that died in the crash Eric was piloting the helicopter his girlfriend was the co-pilot and um, numerous times Eric had told me he, he said you know I told the boss I wasn't too happy about taking off out of the stadium because it was risky if something something went wrong as we were coming up like that and we had no forward speed that you know it would be difficult for us to uh, recover and, and, and land safely and uh, the boss turned around and said well you get paid a lot of money to do this if you don't want to do it the other pilots used to do it I'll just hire somebody else you can leave there's the door it's up to you and Eric continued and now he's dead so uh, he was a great pilot even, even the um, the accident report stated that you know he did everything that was possible his skill his reaction time and everything was absolutely there the mistake he made was he didn't stick up to the boss and say boss I don't think we need to continue to do this I think we need to stop and we need to land you and pick you up outside the stadium none of this going into the stadium or out the stadium with a helicopter um, so you know as I said before I've seen so many people die because they didn't say no and so just to recap 
if you're the boss, you own your own private jet, you're thinking of buying a private jet, make sure you hire pilots and tell them, I hire you, I pay you a ton of money, and you are paid to say no boss. When it's no, it's no, and you need to tell me. That's really, really important because my safety and safety of my family, my executives, whatever, is, is paramount. And if you are the, 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 the person that's not only going to buy the plane, but also fly the plane, you have to have that ability of putting that pilot hat on and saying no to the, 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 the entrepreneur you, the pilot you needs to say no to the entrepreneur you. Um, and that's really, really important. You really think safety, safety, safety. And ice is a big killer. Also coming in high and fast is another one where planes are going off the wrong way. So again, training is really, really key. Airmanship is really, really key. These are all things we talk about here on Budget TV. And if you want to get on a call, which I suggest you do, let's get on a call. Let's do a one-to-one. -one. Let me find out more about you, what your needs are, um, and let's see if we can craft the right aviation solution for you and your team. My email has been posted here on the video. And also check out this other video I did, interview I did with uh, Chris Crone. Uh, entrepreneur from Utah has two jets uh, building his business in an incredible way and says how important the private jet is and how he should have bought one 10 years ago instead of just a, a year and a half ago so really really interesting interview so check this one out and remember to subscribe to BizJet TV and also get a copy of the quantum economy and subscribe to the newsletter as well that link is below and that's all from Felicia Polly on BizJet TV and I'll see you on the next one